Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. Let's make it so that the player can actually, or the NPC can actually hurt us. Because in the last video we set up this weapon trace. So we can clearly see it's hitting us, so let's make sure it actually damages us as well. Um, so, how do we do that? Let's start by making a... Uh, bup, 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 bup. I have the cross here. Uh, did it, did, did. Widget blueprint, user widget, WBP, player health bar. Gonna add a canvas panel. And we're gonna add a progress bar. Actually, something. This gonna set it to desired fill color and opacity is gonna be nothing and then percent let's see how it looks we are gonna set the style so the fill image just so we have something to look at for now i don't know some kind of red and the background will be black for now something like that that is a very basic health bar We will make it nicer in the future. Let's also make a user interface, which is blueprints, VBP main, HUD. And canvas panel. Add the health bar. Gonna put it in the bottom left. Anchor it, anchor it to the bottom left, and not sure about the size, that's gonna be fine for now. We're gonna go into our AC combat. We are gonna set up a function. Set up main HUD, create widget, main HUD. We are not going to promote that to a variable. We're going to make a new variable called main hot. We're going to set it to a user widget. So the base class of widget. Because if I promote this to a variable, it's going to be this specific class. You see, it references the actual HUD, which means the HUD will be loaded into memory. It would probably be fine, because it's likely going to be loaded into the memory all the time, whenever the character exists anyway. But I like to be... I like to avoid using any hard references. When this is here, it still gets loaded into memory, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but what we're probably going to do is we're going to drag this through here. We're going to async load it later. Uh, so it's only into memory whenever the game is actually playing. As I said, not the most important thing, but still for uh, to be extra thorough. But for now, this is going to be the main HUD. And uh, we're going to add to viewport. We're also going to get the main HUD here, convert to a validated get, which means that if it already exists, we're going to remove from parent. So we can't have two at the same time. And 
from there is not valid we still want to continue and we're gonna change this to toggle no actually setup min hard is fine because the hard will always be there so let's let's do that add to viewport and event graph begin play is locally controlled is true that means we will set up main hard because we only want to do that i've seen a lot of tutorials where people set up huds and stuff here that's going to create begin play triggers on everybody so that's going to create a bunch of huds unnecessarily you only want one for yourself and that's what happens here so none of the other players will create a hud for my character so that is fine let's look at how that looks we now have a little teeny little health bar there so that is perfect we're gonna default this one to one we need some interfaces now blueprint interface bi main hud call update health bar target percent go into our main hud graph gonna add the interface so I am in the main HUD here we're gonna add the interface to the main HUD and then since we actually have a reference to the health bar instantly here we don't need an interface to the actual health bar we can just instantly add a function here called set percent Target percent. Gonna call this front progress bar. And set percent. There we go. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna in our main HUD. Whenever this, we're just gonna grab the health bar reference and set percent. So we don't need an actual interface to the health bar uh, do we have a take damage we do not uh, so bi bi combat component call take damage damage taken so we add an interface call to the combat component interface uh, so we could like from the player uh, obviously when we uh, from the MPC uh, in the weapon trace function here we could do apply damage on the actual hit actor mm. But then we have to put logic inside of the actual player character and I want to keep the logic inside of the component as I said so we're just gonna find component by tag can't even remember what it's called so let's go to our AC combat tag it's just a tag combat so we're gonna find the component called combat 
or with the tag combat, we're gonna call take damage and from the combat component. So here, let's just hard code it to, I don't know, 15 for now. Now we can go into our combat component. At the combat graph, we're gonna do event called take damage. Gonna make a new variable called current health. Place a float. And another one called max health. Gonna set default them both to 100 now. We're gonna set this up more closely later. Probably gonna make some kind of stat system or something. We'll see in the future. But for now, we're just gonna. Subtract the damage taken from the current health. And the percent will be the current health divided by the max health. And then we need to get our main HUD and call update health bar. And let's see if that worked. Boom! You can see our health is going down now whenever <coughs> whenever the NPC is hitting us. So, very easy, clean, quick setup of a health bar. We're gonna improve it in the next videos make it a little bit nicer, some effect, uh, some hit effects to the player, uh, damage uh, animation as well to the player, and stuff like that. So just one quick short video, and I will see you in the next one. See you!